Yo, the festival, Made in America festival, was mad lit. One of my best performances ever. Um, and do some turn shit and doesn't go as noticed as all the negative bad shit <laughs> that these people try to, you know, talk about. But it's all good. Um, I said some earlier on Twitter about producers. I just wanted to touch on that too. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with producers collabing with each other. I think that's dope. I just feel like with in these times right now it's like five producers on one beat that be so simple and it's like are you guys making this beat to you feel me or are you guys making this beat so y'all all get paid it's a big difference you feel me it's a huge difference in you feel me collabing with producers to get, you feel me, collectively paid versus collaborating with producers trying to get a certain sound or try to get, um, you know, some different to the table. So that's just my thing. I just feel like, listen, you got to understand, artists fucking producer credits, like, nigga, you got to fucking, when it's time to get paid, like, nigga, it's like, oh, shit, now niggas want 300000 for this beat, because this simple ass beat, because you decided to put A, B, C, D, and E on the drums, when you could have just made them drums yourself. I don't get it. I love all y'all producers though. Without us, there will be, there, without y'all, there will be no us. So just know, if you can't take constructive criticism, then this industry is not for you. Yeah, J Rock, you know, you know, you, yeah, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. It's not specifically about them, but you know, they can definitely relate. Um. We need the album. We do need the album. Um, I can't drop the album because I've been working with so much great people that, like, nigga, my first album got to be my best album. I don't give a fuck how long this shit take. (laughs) This shit is going to be great. Doja. I love Doja Cat. I think Doja Cat. I'm not listening. I personally don't listen to Doja Cat. Like, I'm not going to go and stream her. I probably, I definitely would stream Doja Cat, actually. It's just, I listen to a lot of niggas. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, I fell in love with Doja Cat just overall. Just like seeing her on stage, just versus the eye contact, the, the hair, the clothes, the makeup, the aesthetic. She's just a fucking badass bitch. And she's a great fucking performing artist artist overall shout out to Doja Cat I think she's dope Baltimore Baltimore they be like two I want to collab with um don't know i feel like i collab with everybody (laughs) i got so many features nigga simo when you coming back on the bus we about to be out of here i'm going to new york tomorrow would i do a feature with drake the question is would drake do a fucking feature with me (laughs) Kamari, what it do a feature with the fucking goat? You use too much auto tune. Yo, J Rock, you see these niggas saying that my auto tune turned too high? Back it. 
No, make sure you come by yourself because you will get cursed out. Stax was on the fucking yo, so we was performing, and my DJ, he don't know how to say purr. <laughs> so I was like, what they call me? He was like, big. <laughs> I'm like, what they call me? He like, <laughs> he didn't even say purr, purr, nothing. He just didn't even say nothing. He just said big. <laughs> Who is it? Why are your pants like that? What? Your pants is mad. <laughs> I'm sagging. <laughs> Yo. Look at my feet. I got my toes done today. Greatness. They look nice. Soft. Greatness. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm live answering questions. Something I ain't never ever done before. I'm always dancing and doing some shit. Now I'm on here trying to figure out what's going on. Simo's trying to sell my used socks. 60 bands a pair. I wouldn't even 60, buy a. Thousand? I wouldn't even buy a sock for sixty bands. I don't give a fuck if it was Beyonce's, nigga. Actually, I, I Beyonce. I'm definitely buying her sock for sixty bands now, though. I wouldn't buy it when she was a beginning artist. I would buy Beyonce's sock now. Cause she's, you know, she. Or nah, that that's like an investment. Uh, nah, I probably would have bought it ten years ago too, cause it's like, nigga, you see the vision. I'm going to buy this sock. Right, it's going right. to be worth billions. <laughs> Yo, go buy my sock for 60K right now. I'm telling you, that shit going to be worth 500K, nigga, in two years. Guaranteed. Don't even trip. When I drop this album. <laughs> I'm fucking tough. Yo, why is it so hot in here? It's not hot. Yes, it is. It's not. I'll try to make it seem like it's hot in here. And it, bitch, <laughs> I'm fucking cool as hell. Ain't a sweat in here. Why she sound like a man? I don't sound like a man, bitch. I lost my voice. I don't fucking sound like a man. I lost my voice. I can't even do my baby voice. My brother love me. Bitch, I love my brother. My brother love me. <laughs> Yo, I gotta fucking fix my shit. Yo, stop commenting this Rachi nigga on my page, bro. I just don't understand. Yo, that's that how do I say shit, it in bro. Spanish? That's that Dominican how do I say it in Spanish? How do I tell these niggas to leave me the fuck alone in Spanish? Tell me. Déjame tranquila. 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 This is for the Rachi. <laughs> this is for all the Rachi fans over there. I don't, Rachi, tell your friend, tell, your, tell Rachi and his fans stop harassing me. His girl. Yeah, he don't have. He has a whole girlfriend with my braids in the hair. I just, I don't know what's going on. I don't speak Spanish. Never met Rachi a day in my life. Leave me alone. <laughs> Unless you're ready to pay for this verse, nigga. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's like, come on, U.S. dollars, nigga. Hey, bricks, come, come here, bricks. Put them on. He wants to get up here. So, guys, just so y'all know, this is. My room, I got it closed off. I got my bed. We got hotel rooms too, but I'm so used to this place. I never want to leave it. I love this room. Where are the questions at? All right, the questions. Look at Brick. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, get these balls the fuck out of here. They look like frog legs. You look like frog legs, Brick. Get off of me. Put your toes in the camera, weird. Yo, oh, this is this is something. I've been seeing this little mindless behavior fucking thing going around. Their their team must have paid for some promo and marketing because the amount of traffic they got going around that video is driving me insane. Tell you, tell you, whatever your team, this is for the whole mindless behavior. I love y'all niggas to death, but whatever <laughs> y'all niggas, whatever y'all team... Whatever marketing plan that they paid for that video to go around, tell them stop. Like, it's over. Y'all niggas had all the time to do that. And you gonna wait until I become bigger to start blowing the video up? Like, girl, boy, ladies and gentlemen, let's not go there. Leave that video in the past. 
Hey, Kid Hazel. Shout out to Kid Hazel. Big purr in the fucking building. Nigga, we about to be big, big gold. Prop your phone up and stand up. Why you want me to stand up so bad? Like, you want to see this little fat butt so bad. That's all I do. Go on, press it live. Let me see what he's doing. They saying that he's on live. <laughs> <laughs> Go to his shit. Let me see what they talking about. I... Yeah, I'm dead. Let's see what he's doing. Let me see. <laughs> this is what bitches really do. Like, let me see that live. Hold on. Let me see what's going on. Oh. <laughs> Niggas. Tell Press to stop driving and sliving. But, like, come on. Go tell Press on his live to stop driving and living. It's not safe. Right, and Preston said, I'm like, babe, you said he wasn't good. <laughs> I thought he was, like, he said he wasn't good. He said he was not supposed to post a card, whatever. Um, the laundry's right here. Take the hat off. Eh? I got it. My head is down. <laughs> the in the kitchen on the bus. <laughs> She's in the fucking kitchen. Alondra is Alondra's meal Sean prep for the eat. tour. <laughs> no cap, big meals over here. Yeah. Hi Jay White, I fucking love you. Samia beat. Samia smash and one of them sm- and that file of smashes. Send me one of those. They like he ain't doing shit. He ain't doing nothing. Riding around getting it. What's the headband band? This is a do rag. I bought. I went, I bought a. I bought a, a Paul Mitchell blow dryer today. Yo, cool. You're 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 answering questions like just off what people are saying right here. Where do you see questions? Right there, my nigga. Where? Nah, right here. Oh. Yeah. Come on, my nigga. These are questions. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I thought they just pop up. How do I? You click one, I think, and then it. Yeah, right there. And my. And then you get the thing, you can read it. Okay. All right. How do I? Kids can't be removed. See, I don't have time for this. When we make it a TikTok, I stay in downtown. So click somebody else. Why are you so beautiful? Let me say, I have a small dick. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> Who inspired you to rap? Who inspired me to rap? No, I'm saying music's in my blood. Um, I don't know. I hate that question. Favorite food on tour? See, I like the do do a freestyle. All right, here we go. I'm on the tour bus. Wish my nigga was right here so we could fuck. Need me some mango on the plate. I eat it up. <laughs> I need some salami. My nigga not here. Don't tell him when I'm eating the pork with my fork. He might get scared. <laughs> Started off really good. That was pretty cool, right? Yeah, that was pretty good. All right. What you mean? You didn't like how I ended it? <laughs> You're getting better at this shit. Don't worry. I don't like the questionnaire corner. Wait, I didn't mean to put that. I <laughs> should say marry me. I don't like the questionnaire corner. Um, what oh what your biggest my biggest fear is to quit. One of my biggest fears is to quit this music shit. Sometimes this shit gets to me so much, like I know I could sit here sometimes and pretend like everything's okay sometimes, but a lot of the times a lot of the stuff that y'all do say affects me sometimes. <laughs> I haven't said sometimes a hundred times. <laughs> But sometimes the stuff you guys say get to me and, you know, I be wanting to quit this shit. 
but my biggest fear like i'm scared to quit i don't think i'll ever be the same just because of how big i am now you know so yeah that's that um will you ever come what happened to that date you said we was going on yeah imagine that come in Somebody's here for you. What, what's your name? Davey. Tell Davey, come here. Davey. Davey! All right, let me cut the air on now. <laughs> I'm throwing all the shoes on the floor. Come on. Right, it's a raid. It's a raid. Hey! What's up? Come on. Oh, I just put the air on. I was on live, Davey. I was answering some questions. Oh, yeah. That's so fun. I should have hit you to join your live because I'm answering your questions. <laughs> Say hey to Davey D, guys. What's up, y'all? This guy right here, first of all, a lot of y'all fucking artists and a lot of y'all lame-ass favorite artists and shit can't even get close to the biggest people like this. It, it, this nigga right here, y'all think I understand. This motherfucker is so important in the industry. And he plays the back end. And if you know, you know. It's a if you know him, then you know him. Exactly. So that just goes to show y'all that this industry is based off relationships, and a lot of these artists just worry about Spotify and 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 Apple Music. Like we love them to death. But there's people like this that help that shit happen on those platforms. And y'all need to take notes. But I gotta go, money.